I wonder, what is Alfred hiding here? Aha! Handgun bullets! Just as I suspected. I found them, they're mine, I could leave victorious. But first, left, right, left, right, 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 right. Must be some kind of clue. But what does it mean? Let's turn the computer on and find out. Oh, it's that video again. The video of Alfred feeding his pet ants. You have weird hobbies. Very grainy footage. Probably filmed in the early 80s on one of those terrible, massive home film cameras. What a luxury. And yes, the Ashfords are rich. They can afford the best of the best. But I reckon they keep a lot of antiquated tat. We can't possibly get rid of that armchair. It's been in my family for generations. And look at this computer. It may be 1998, but I reckon it's running Windows 95. Or even worse, Ropples. Okay, let's go and have a look at this thing and use our clues. Okay, so left, right, that's a one, then left, nine, then right, seven, 1970, right, 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 1970, one. Good year. Rick Wakeman joined, yes. Queen formed. What else? I only know stuff about music. Damn. Oh yes, a Clockwork Orange came out. And there you have it. Useless facts about 1971. Let's type the password and see what happens. I'm sure it'll be very interesting, but not quite as interesting or useful as my facts about 1971. And you have to listen to everything I say, because I'm great and everything I say is interesting. Except the stuff that isn't. And we have revealed a secret passage! Ooh. So next, I'd like to- Wah! No, not that. So next, I'd like to go to- Hey! Hands off me! Next, I'd like to go to one of my favorite sections of this game. You know the kind of areas that I like. The sort of dark, creepy areas. And it's so dark and so creepy, I better equip my good guns. Because I don't want to die. I'm too young. There's still so much I haven't done. I've never read a book. Here we go. <laughs> That's creepy. We're on our way to the Ashford's private house. Oh no. He's guarded by these guys. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I hate Bandersnatches. I must destroy them. I refuse to be outwitted by someone with only one arm. Not that one's wit comes from the amount of arms you happen to have. But we have made it to Alfred's private residence, which is something I've always considered to be one of the best locations in any Resident Evil game. I wouldn't mind living there. Once you've vacated the zombies and vented out the smell of death and caviar, I'm sure it would be lovely. Here we are. I would like to commend their interior decorator, but first, let's equip a lighter. Because I hear bats. Look at them! Flapping over there and flapping over here and just generally flapping. What's this? An assortment of creepy dolls are showcased here. Perhaps they are to the liking of the resident. Is that resident evil? Probably. What's in here? Hey! I warn you! Don't make me set you on fire with my lighter. Because I will! And- uh, I was only joking, it was an empty threat. Bye, I'm going away. But first, I need to pick up these handgun bullets. Because I am a collector of handgun bullets. Let's explore more of this house. Whoa. They have weird things hanging. Various books, politics, literature. Nothing useful. How do you know nothing's useful? There might be a wolf or an eagle medal in one of those books. I'm just taking the time to admire the scenery. It's so weird. I love it. In fact, when I was a kid, I did try to make my bedroom look something like this. I had the dark oak wood floors, the old fashioned wallpaper, the antiques all around. It's pretty good, but the effect was somewhat ruined by having electric guitars all over the place. Electric guitars are essential, but don't necessarily fit in with the aesthetic. Keep focus, brother. Our enemy is only a little girl. Oh, why is this taking so long? My apologies, Alexia, but I have been doing my best. The revival of the Ashford family depends on your success, brother. I am aware of that, Alexia. 
I will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious Ashford family. Do not worry, brother. I will handle them both myself. Who is there? Is someone at the corridor? So that's Alexia. What is it, Alexia? N nothing. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. Well, if they're going, then I'm going to be nosy and have a look in the bedroom. I hope they don't catch me. Let's check it out. Alexia's music box. I love this song. Once, I used it as my alarm clock to wake me up in the morning. Then I had to change it, because it didn't wake me up. I suppose it's more of a lullaby than an alarm clock. It's just not annoying enough. It's so pretty. There's gorgeous furnishings. A relief. It seems to resemble a goddess. And the music box itself is playing a beautiful melody. Something is written on the back of the lid. Red Queen and Blue King return. The path opens. Let's stop the music box. Ah, we know what goes there. What? What's going on? We found a key. But first, let's use the Red Queen. And once again, we reveal the music box plate. I like the melody, so I'm going to take it. Alexia is going to be pretty upset. And whilst I'm at it, I'm going to take the key as well. Yunk! The silver key. Whoa! That's one way to lose weight. Sleep in that bed. I believe we can use the silver key back in the palace, so we're going to return there now. I think Claire should be able to take the big doll with us, but no, she'll take a green herb and some hand gum bullets. Her priorities are all wrong. Hello, bats! I've got a lighter, so you better stay away. Look at this giant suspended doll. I mean, I'm sure somewhere in rural Spain there's a nobleman living in a castle with an even bigger, even crazier doll, but this one's still pretty big. Haha! <laughs> What a house! It's incredible! Not very wheelchair friendly. And what if you wanted to order a pizza? Note to driver. It's a secluded house accessible only by a secret passage in a room where you need lugers from a gas chamber. I don't think Resident Evil games are very car friendly. In Resident Evil 3, most of Raccoon City was navigated using alleyways because Jill couldn't be bothered to climb over a barricade. She'd rather solve a gazillion puzzles than climb over a car blocking the main road. Now, can we get past this git? Nice! Okay, right, before we carry on, let's throw away some things. What don't we need for a while? I reckon we can get rid of the music box plate and the bowgun arrows. I don't want them clogging up my precious inventory. I think that looks okay. Yeah. Now, let's unlock some doors. You? I thought I killed you. Fine. Let's equip our handgun. I have not forgiven him for last time. And look at him, spraying blood all over the carpet. What a jerk. You're lucky my big brother's not here. He's in stars, you know. Well, at least he was, before the RPD blew up. What's this? A huge portrait is on display here. It looks very badly maintained, but we can use our silver key here to unlock door number one. Here we are, in a casino. It always struck me as weird that Alfred would have a casino. He's very private. He doesn't want other people around. He doesn't even want them meeting his sister. So I'm guessing Alfred was in here gambling by himself. Yay, I win again. <laughs> I'm so desperately lonely. His only friend was a green herb, and I've taken that too, as well as the spare emergency backup green herb. Ooh, what's this? An antique grand piano. It's a pianola player piano. Try saying that ten times fast. And here we have a fantastic view of the palace. Alright, let's go. 
But first, maybe we should try the slot machines. One of them is turned on. Yeah, why not? Congratulations. Wesker! <sighs> Your evil ends here. You win! Biohazard. That was great! I had no idea I was so good at gambling. I'm pretty sure it's not beginner's luck. Everyone needs to hear about this. Hey! Hey Bob, guess what? I just won, in the casino. Loads of money. Okay, we're going in here. But I don't like this room. This room sucks! My top-notch slot machine skills will not help me here, because this room is full of bandersnatches. Alright, let's come in guns blazing! Take this! Oh god, there's two of them! I'm missing most of this. Ugh. Ah, aim upwards. I just wasted loads of grenades, but don't worry, I just found some handgun bullets. Poor Claire. She's not feeling too good. Alright, where's the other one? Oh, screw this. Hi! It's hard to miss when you're this close. Let's heal up and take a look around. Anything good? Oh, what's this? Hunk's report. The attention of Mr. Alfred Ashford. Today at 4.32, I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transport Base with a large-scale B.O.W. capsule. Extreme care was taken during the transport, all 108 checkpoints were confirmed condition green and the cons were standard procedures. There's one thing I don't understand. We're normally assigned to special missions, why were we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? I understand this could be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be put at risk during the transport, particularly mine. We'd like to ask you to provide us with more information should we be assigned to similar missions in the future. I still remember the good old days I spent here in the military training center. Nothing's changed since then. We'll gear up for the next mission today at 11 o'clock. Lots of love, Hunk. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Ah, Hunk. What a guy. This looks like the perfect place to have a subliminal thing appear on the screen. No? Alright then. I know. Let's pick this up. The Eagle Plate. And I know just where to use it. We're going to go all the way back to the start of the game. Let's go! Out the way, you stupid zombie! Hey, Bob! I'm just going now. I'll, I'll see you later, okay? Everyone loves Bob. <gasps> Doggies! Hello! If I can, I'll find us a squeak toy. Luckily, there's no bandersnatches here. Good! Those guys are jerks, and therefore, they do not deserve squeaky toys, which I shall undoubtedly find in the prison area. I remember we can use an eagle plate where the guillotine is, so I'm gonna go back and find it. This is madness! I'm an escaped prisoner running back towards the prison. These very flammable metal crates are still on fire, and we can still hear the zombies in the distance. Look at these giant mountainsides! You'd have to be a complete nutter to climb that. Nope! It's not worth it. Not even to attempt to escape. It's very foggy, but down there is just water. Hello, zombies! Ha! They miss me. They probably did miss me. I haven't been here for ages. We made it. This is where the guillotine is. I suppose since all this is owned by Umbrella, they don't chop many heads. These prisoners are probably perfect test subjects for experiments. Obviously, Claire didn't stay in the prison very long, otherwise she would have got her very own snazzy prisoner outfit. But Claire, wearing green? It's not really her colour. And even worse, would they have shaved her head? Well, I suppose they didn't shave Steve's head. And Steve isn't even wearing the prisoner uniform. Here we are, the guillotine. Lots of blood splatter. I guess he had to know where to stand. Let's use our eagle plate. Whoa. Uh-oh. 
Oh no, it's two zombies. Whatever am I to do? I'm not afraid of you guys. I don't care if you've got scary music going on. Are there any women in this prison? They all appear to be manly men. Do you really expect Claire to join in and share the facilities with these guys? If they're going to stick my head under that guillotine, they better clean it first. Urgh. I see an explodey barrel. Sorry. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> That's good. First of all, I'm going to go this way. What do we got? More handgun bullets. Nice. And over here, seemingly nothing. But wait, we can climb over this box. Fiendish. And push it out of the way of this door. Come on, Claire. You can do it. I wonder what they keep in these boxes. Oh, I know where we are. This is where Steve was on the computer. And we sent an email to Leon. We're on the other side of the metal detector. And that means we can get those items. So somehow you managed to get through the windows. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Oh god, where did he come from? No, I don't think I'll be doing that. I want to take some stuff. I need it! I need it all for me. It's mine. Let's go. Best of all, I can chuck some of that stuff into the box. Especially the first aid spray. Because I don't want it. Filthy umbrella products. Yuck! I mean, don't get me wrong, they are very good. But I refuse. If I was on danger right now, and some umbrella executive saying, Use this first aid spray. I'll go, No! I'm going to use a green herb instead. Where are we? This is another one of my favorite locations in this game. Some kind of medical area. Or is it a morgue? Hmm. It appears he's been anatomized. He's not breathing. Blood-stained scalpels lay scattered here. We've got some very scary music going on. And in here... Anatomist's note. There's a demon in my mind. I can't control the fierce impulses the demon sometimes drives me to act upon. It's a brutal ceremony. With a demon next to me, I enjoy watching people agonize in pain, screaming and convulsing repeatedly as they die. But Sir Alfred was kind enough to acknowledge me, and has given me the facilities, chemicals, and equipment necessary to study everything. I must never betray Sir Alfred's kindness. It's especially critical that no one discovers the secret place that only he and I know about. I swear the basement of this medical building will be kept a secret. Of course, I keep the key to the secret place with me at all times. Even if an outsider sees it, they'll never be able to tell that it's the key. I must remember that my life ends when I lose Sir Alfred's trust. Wow, this guy sounds weird. An elaborate model of a human body. Something seems to be missing. Uh, could it be the eye? We got body bags. And over here, more body bags piled up. <laughs> and here is where it gets really disturbing. Oops. The zombies are all gathered here together. And everything's very macabre. And look, we found a gerillium case here amongst all the chains and torture equipment. What could this guy possibly be keeping in a gerillium case? For all we know, it could be a pair of furry handcuffs. And here we are, in a room, surrounded by zombies, backed against a corner, and I can't see any of them. This is no good. Damn, zombies. The anatomist was pretty worried about people finding the basement. But even this room seems pretty sadistic. I can only assume whatever's in the basement is even more messed up. And Alfred Ashford is the one that provided it all. I guess they have an acquired taste for entertainment. And it's all very secret. The only people allowed to know about it is the anatomist, Alfred, and the cleaner. Oh no! Get off me! I want these handgun bullets. Yes! But look at this place. We've got some kind of stretcher. We've got a furnace. Over here we've got a strangely shaped chair, we've got spikes, and over here a sturdy well-made chain with handcuffs. I'm guessing maybe these zombies were the victims, or maybe they were so-called corpses here in the morgue. 
The file we read said that the anatomist keeps the key to the basement on him at all times. But now I'm wondering, where is the anatomist? Uh oh. The body's missing. What the? Here he is. The anatomist. Uh oh. Okay, he's a runner. We gotta be careful. Take this. What? He's still going. He's still not dead. He's a super zombie. Leave me alone. He's almost like a crimson head. Okay, he's done. Phew. The other guys, just a regular zombie. But this was the anatomist. Let's search him. He had a key of some kind. The glass eye. Oh, of course. No one would ever question that, that, that weird eye. I never even noticed it looking in the wrong direction. Um, yeah. But we can use that eye right here on this. Let's see what happens. <gasps> a secret stairway. We're about to discover his deepest, darkest secrets. It's a good thing it was all written down in that file, really. Why do they do that? I have a secret absolutely no one must know. I'm gonna write it all down and leave it in a very easily accessible area. Hello, bats. Here we are. Whoa. Prisoners. And more torture equipment. Okay, let's try and get rid of some of these guys. There's a few interesting details in this area. This room matches up with Alfred's tastes. I'm guessing he liked to come down here occasionally. And everywhere you look, there's something weird for hurting people. I like how you've got all this horrible stuff everywhere, but you've got the nice chandelier and a comfy chair. Initially, I would have thought that was a torture device. Fetch the comfy chair and poke them with a the soft cushion. But no, I think this is where Alfred likes to sit and watch. Whilst drinking some champagne. What a dastardly development this is. I wonder what this weird device was used for. I don't know. I don't think this person was very nice. There's blood all over the place. They should sack their cleaner. Hmm. We've got some kind of weird dunking devices for drowning people. There's tools all over the walls. Let's go down these stairs. I don't want to stay in this place. It's horrible. Maybe down here we're going to find our squeak toy for the dogs. So let's make some room. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at this. A sword. A rusted one. That's no good for fighting zombies. Uh-oh. What's going on? Oh, great. And now I'm being gassed to death. So this guy's got torture equipment everywhere, and now he's got a gas chamber. He's crazy. No wonder he and Alfred get on so well. Come on. <sighs> and all the gas just disappears. That's top-rate ventilation for you. An Iron Maiden. Excellent. Let's take a closer look. For some reason, I feel compelled to stab it. Splip. Oh no! It's a zombie! Hiding inside there! I'm sorry I stabbed you! But there's something in the Iron Maiden. Let's have a look. Oh no! He's another runner! And we've got the piano roll. Oh! <gasps> hey! Get off me, you, you giant peanut! I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Ugh. Let's get out of here. Huh? What was that sound? Is that zombie following me? That's not good. Maybe he's trying to give the sword back to me. Or maybe he's angry I called him a peanut. I didn't mean it. I was just so angry. Look at him, shuffling up the stairs. Who said you could learn how to use a door? I suppose he's been thinking about it for a long time being stuck in that Iron Maiden. Okay. Let's get our lighter out. We've got everything we need. Sadly, no squeaky toys. We could take one of these bats, but I don't want to get bitten. Let's just go. I'm sure the doggies will understand. 
I should have picked up this bucket over here and threw it at that horrible zombie's head. But I guess here it's a bucket for kicking. Oh no. The zombies are back. I thought I killed these guys. Oops. I guess now we want to go all the way back to the palace. To the casino room with the piano. There is one little detour I want to make though. I want to go all the way back to where we first started with Juan. I do appreciate him. He showed me a little bit of kindness and let me out. So, I'm going to bring him some medicine to show my appreciation. Yes, he's looking in a bad way. And here I am, filming this video, showing myself taking him some medication. Out of the goodness of my heart, please like and subscribe for more content. And whilst I wait, I shall kill these zombies. And it serves them right for being naked. How could you? This is a respectable channel. You can't just go around showing everyone your bottom. I don't want to see your bum, and neither does anyone else. All right, let's get to Juan. Don't you worry, Juan. I'm on my way. <sighs> hey. What are you doing here? Oh, I just want to reminisce about old times. Remember when you let me out of the cage? That was great. I've also bought you some Tic Tacs. Hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. You're too lazy to take care of yourself. You've been sat here since the start of the game. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. Now go. Don't worry about me. A lockpick? What is this rubbish? Give me something better. He didn't even offer me one of his Tic Tacs. We could use it on the Julium case though, which shall reveal something incredible. We've got some gun parts. Parts for the gun that I happen to have. How convenient. And now I have this, the custom handgun. The greatest handgun ever made. Thank you, Juan. What are you still hanging around for? Get out of here. Well, I, I want to show you something. I've got skills. I can do this. Pure talent. And I can do this all day. Are you impressed? Uh, Juan? You're not even paying attention. Okay, bye. We've done a good thing. Let's go. Uh-oh. Where'd they come from? Wow, that was amazing. And we're going to leave Juan back there, moping around, being all mopey. He's got my lighter, my precious lighter, but we have got a lockpick. Hear that, zombies? I have a lockpick now, so you better watch out. <sighs> I miss my lighter now. Stupid Juan, he stole my lighter. Jerk, I bet his name isn't even Juan. His name is probably Rodrigo or something. But oh, that would just be typical. I feel so betrayed. So betrayed, I'm gonna go up these stairs, because that's what these videos are all about. Shock! That'll show him for taking my beloved lighter. I even showed him my amazing party trick. He didn't even watch. Well, I don't need him. I've already got friends. I'm of course talking about the dogs. They'll be happy to see me. Dogs? D Where are they? Dogs? Where'd they go? I don't like this. It's too quiet. Greetings. Hello? You must be the lovely Claire Redfield. Who are you? 
Let's just say that I'm a ghost coming back to haunt your dear brother. Wesker? It seems there's not much explaining to do, is there? I was the one who attacked this island. Who'd have thought you'd be hanging about? <laughs> All the better for me. Now that the cat dragged in this nice surprise, your ever so caring brother will definitely show up. I must thank you for being such good bait. I don't know what went on between you two, but you have them all wrong. My brother is not the kind of person you think he is. I despise Chris. Uh, what are you gonna do to him? Ow! That's the most horrible thing that's happened to me in the last five minutes. Oh no. Where's Steve? We need help. Oh, how your brother will weep to see you die. <laughs> what? What is it? Stay there. I'm coming. It appears you may be of some further use to me. I'm going to let you live. A little longer. Whoa. That's not normal. So Wesker's back. I thought he died in the first game. But now he's back posher than ever. And evil. Poor Claire. Wesker's a jerk. Hey Bob, how are you? I just got kicked in the face by a complete git, so now I have to talk like this for the rest of the game. He's wearing sunglasses at night. You know who does that? No talent douchebags. I, however, am very talented. I can play the piano. Let me just, uh, get prepared, um, with this. In the normal world, you'd assume this would just play music. But in this world, of course, something weird's gonna happen. Brilliant! Let's see what it is. Even though poor Claire's just been attacked, we're feeling better already, because we have got... The King Ant Object. I've always wanted one of those. Let us listen to the music. And we know where the King Ant Object goes. We're going all the way back to Alfred's house. The Ashfords really love that melody. Now we've got to do some stuff. We've taken out our Jerillium cases, and we're going to open and see what we've got. Let's use our lockpick. And we have got... more bow gun powder. So we might as well mix it. And get lots of good ammo. Explosive arrows. It's really powerful, especially against the end boss. I'm going to use that later. For now, let's go in this direction to the house. Oh, great. The Bandersnatch. Ha! You missed! I better equip the gun because shooting with your bare hand is quite difficult, though seeing Claire attempt it would be rather interesting. Let's use the custom handgun. Against some zombies. This is good. We can fire in quick bursts, which means they go down quicker. Sorry, zombies, but I'm afraid I want you to die. So, just keep walking into my bullets, because that'll be a smart thing to do. I wonder how the zombies even got here to this special private bridge. <gasps> Maybe sword zombies been opening doors for them. I knew I shouldn't have let him live. But these guys are all dead. Great! Our new handgun is amazing. Hello? Is there anyone here? There better not be! Oh no! Who said you could come up here? Well, I'm a bandersnatch. I've only got one arm. But it's not about the quantity of the arm, it's the quality. And it's marvellous! Hello, zombies! So, the zombies have invaded Alfred's house. Um, where are his bats? You better not have eaten Alfred's bats. He'll be really cross. Oh, 
Claire, hey! Oh no! Oh for God's sake! There's a zombie right there, three meters away, and you're shooting someone three miles away. Auto aim has betrayed me. You stupid zombie! You're bleeding all over the carpet. What would Alexia say? I am not amused. Do you think these are cheap carpets? Of course not. The Ashfords have the best of the best. And now they've got to re-carpet the entire stairway. This is why Alfred doesn't invite people to his house. You're all making a massive mess. Oh yeah, yeah. Just lie down on the floor, why don't you? You're a trip hazard. Here we are. Now we're going to go into Alfred's bedroom. With the king ant object. Oh, oh no. Oh no! More zombies! Alfred's all like, I must not allow the unwashed to see my beloved Alexia! And an entire mob of zombies have turned up. All of them working class, probably with cockney accents. Still covered in soot after cleaning the chimneys. Here we are. Let's use the ant object. And we reveal a place to put the music box plate. Ah. Ah, oh, that's nice. And here we have a ladder leading up into the attic. But first, a message card. My dear brother, I firmly believe that the glory of the Ashford family will be revived through your courage and strength as an honoured soldier. Yours faithfully, Alexia Ashford. Gosh, she's so posh. Shall we climb the ladder? No. Yes. They have their own carousel in the attic. There's a wooden horse. It is a gorgeous work. But we're not here for horses. We're here to see what they're keeping in the attic. There's a keyhole in the mouth of this ant picture. Hmm. What do ants eat? We have a piano. And Claire won't play it. She can't play without her piano roll. Got a green herb? What else? Ooh, a cello. That's amazing. And what's this? A silver dragonfly. Well, we've been getting clues all through this game. We know what to do with a dragonfly. We must pick off the wings and feed it to the ant. I do like looking at all the strange artifacts here in the attic. Is that another giant music box? I wonder what the melody is. Surely it's not the same melody again. Let's feed the ant and find out. You know, I have thousands of songs on my phone. All my favorite music, and inevitably you will eventually listen to them all. But these people are listening to the same song over and over and over again. It's no wonder they're so crazy. And we've revealed a secret new floor. I wonder what they're hiding up there. Hmm. It's like a, a mini library. Ink ribbon? Yeah, okay. Any files? No? I like this displayed doll in the case. A bit like Annabelle. Ooh, a newspaper clip. A ten-year-old girl genius graduated at the top of her class from a prestigious university, and Umbrella Chemical Ink offered her a position as head researcher. So Alexia Ashford is a genius. A bit like me. Finally, people on my level. All this time I've had to spend pretending to be nice to people like Steve. Maybe I can befriend Alexia. What's this? Confession letter. Alexia, my sister, is a genius and possesses unmatched beauty. She is everything to me. I would overcome any obstacle and be willing to risk my life for her. For Alexia, I must revive the glorious Ashford family, which fell during the era of my father, Alexander. Together, we will restore our family name. Once that's been achieved, I will build a palace where only nobles may gather. I cannot allow the unwashed to see my dear Alexia, to whom my life is devoted to. She reigns the world as queen, and I as her servant. 
that is my dream, and how sweet it will be. Those accomplishments will be proof of my love towards Alexia. It's the purpose of my existence. All the other people are meaningless. They shall soon prostrate themselves before Alexia and I. Devoted to my beloved Alexia, Alfred Ashford. This guy is way too close to his sister. He should get a girlfriend. And I have the proof. An Air Force proof. I think we've seen all we have to see. Once we get on a plane and get out of here, we'll never have to see Alfred again. Or Alexia. Alright, let's go. Blair Redfield, hold it right there. Uh oh. We meet each other at last. A pity I must say goodbye so soon. I am Alexia Ashford. For the pride of the Ashford family, I will kill you. Freeze! Wait! What's going on? Uh. Ah! Steve! A secret door! Uh, after her! Are you okay? No, he just got shot. I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Okay, where did Alexia go? This must be... Wait a second. What just happened? It appears he was wearing makeup, Steve. So there never was an Alexia after all. You mean, he thinks he's two people? Okay, that's it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Don't laugh, Steve. You're jumping to conclusions there. He might just really like dresses. Or perhaps the loss of his beloved sister caused him to find comfort immersing himself in a fantasy, and we just spoilt the illusion.